this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was. Then you come to the right place. See Jim Carrey is one of the most famous actors in Hollywood and one of the funniest men of all time. But in recent years, his life has changed completely. His face, always marked by funny faces, has taken on a sad look. And his words, always filled with jokes at every moment, now carry serious and profound messages that make people wonder what is happening to this man. Has he gone mad? In today's video, we are going to find answers to these questions and understand the journey that brought Jim Carrey to this point in his life, where he seems to have left behind the man who lived inside a comedy movie character 24 hours a day to become who he was truly called to be in this world. What you will see in this video will surprise you, and at the end, I will show you a testimony from Jim Carrey himself that I am sure will impact your life. But before we start, Please subscribe to my channel, it's very quick, click on the subscribe button below the video, activate the notification bell because I want to help you on your walk with God every day, ok, now, let's go. Jim Carrey is a Canadian comedian who became famous worldwide for his roles in successful movies like The Truman Show, The Mask, Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, among others. But it wasn't just in front of the cameras that the actor always made jokes and entertained everyone. In interviews on television, at awards shows, or at major cinema events, he was always seen making jokes and acting like a real character, making everyone laugh. But why was Jim Carrey like that? Why was he always seen as funny? Was it a trait of his personality? Or was Jim Carrey trying to convey a message or even hide something from people. To understand why Jim Carrey was always funny, we need to go back in time. Jim was born in a small town in Canada called Newmarket in January 1962, the youngest of a family of four siblings. Son of a singer who did not achieve the success she hoped for, and a musician who had to give up his career on stage to support the family in a regular job, Jim grew up seeing his mother always sick. She became addicted to painkillers and developed a mental illness that made her believe she could die at any moment. Out of fear of losing his mother, little Jim Carrey started doing comedy to try to cheer her up a bit. The boy dedicated all his time to making his mother smile so that life would be easier for her. It was in this context that Jim Carrey's first comedy performances emerged. The actor grew up closed off and lonely, so creativity became his only friend. He painted, wrote poetry, and made faces in front of the mirror. In an interview, he admitted that the mirror was his only friend and didn't know what socializing was. Some time later, he realized he could also make other people laugh, such as family acquaintances and school friends. Young Jim Carrey got so good at pleasing others with his interpretations, jokes and faces that he was allowed by the school to give a 15-minute performance every day in his classroom. Around the same time, Jim's father lost his job and they were evicted from their home, having to live in a van for a while until they found a new home in the United States. During this time, Jim Carrey realized he could use comedy to lift his family out of misery. So he dedicated himself more and more to making people laugh. And it worked. After starting in stand-up comedy, he moved to cinema and became one of the greatest actors Hollywood has ever known. But besides money, success, awards and all the fame, Jim Carrey understood that to stay where he had arrived, he needed to keep entertaining and amusing people all the time. And more than that, the humor industry is entirely geared toward the opinions of others. 
and his job depends on the positive judgment of people. That's why he became the man who always made jokes wherever he was. He became a reflection of what society wanted and expected him to be. Time passed until the moment came when Jim Carrey began to fight an internal battle with himself. It was when he stopped being the clown everyone was used to seeing and went through a very profound change. He fell into depression, and this influenced even the work he chose to do. The funny characters who made everyone laugh gave way to more serious ones with deep stories that made the audience reflect on life. In the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Jim tells the story of a man frustrated with his love life and in depression exactly as he was living at that moment. His performance during the recordings was so good that the film's director asked him not to treat his psychological problem until the end of that work. After that, Jim appeared less and less in the media, and he decided to deepen his search for his true identity. During this process, he also lost his ex-girlfriend, Kathriona White, who took her own life five days after breaking up with Jim. All this made the actor even more desperate for answers about life. At this moment of deep pain, Jim Carrey found Jesus, the only truth capable of freeing human beings from the bonds that the world imposes and the slavery that society imposes for us to be accepted. From then on, the man who dedicated his life to pleasing everyone now spoke to the world what he believed to be the truth. This became very clear in an interview before an award show in the United States. Let's watch it together. Wait, tell me, is it true you're wandering the streets? You need a date to the party? What's up? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm doing just fine. Uh, I just, uh, you know, there's no meaning to any of this. So I, I wanted to find the most meaningless thing that I could come to and join. And, uh, and, uh, and here I am. They're celebrating. I mean, you gotta admit, it's completely meaningless. Well, they say they're celebrating icons inside. Celebrating Do you believe icons. in icons? Boy, that is just the absolute lowest aiming, you know, possibility that we could come up with. It's like icons. What do you do? You believe in icons? I don't I believe in personalities. I don't believe that you exist. But there is a, a wonderful fragrance in the air. You don't believe certain icons have the power to make change, to think differently, to be bold, to inspire others? Artistry? You're one of them. On the good foot. Ha! Yeah. You shut her down now. Notice the reporter's reaction while Jim Carrey was talking about the futility of the entertainment world. She looks at the camera with astonishment and disapproval, as if saying to the audience, Look folks, he's going crazy. I'm not like him. I don't belong to this madness. I'm like you. Besides, he decided to sacrifice his career in Hollywood to reveal the dark secrets of the entertainment industry, such as the influences of the Illuminati. In various public appearances, including the famous Jimmy Kimmel live show, Jim Carrey made symbolic gestures and spoke openly about what he called the Illuminati's secret symbol. He claimed that the government hired many in the entertainment industry to distract and manipulate the public. He also dared to say that these decisions were made in secret meetings controlled by hidden forces. Because of this attitude, many people created theories that Jim Carrey had gone crazy and that something was wrong with the actor. But the great truth is that Jim Carrey had felt something in his heart. He realized that he needed to renounce the image and character he carried to fulfill his true mission. So he began to free himself from all the labels that had accompanied him throughout his career. And more than that, Jim Carrey started dedicating his life to social work, helping people in need and learning about the Word of God. He is still in this spiritual growth and sanctification process and has been going through struggles that every newly converted Christian faces. After all, the enemy knows how precious this man's life is to God and how this actor can impact the world if he decides to speak about the love of Christ to other people. I want to share a snippet of testimony from Jim Carrey who discusses his relationship with God. Check it out with me. And uh, 
ultimately, I believe that suffering leads to salvation. And in fact, it's the only way that uh, we have to somehow accept and not deny, but feel our suffering and feel our losses. And, uh, and then we make one of two decisions. We either decide to go through the gate of resentment, which leads to vengeance, which leads to self-harm, which leads to harm to others, or we go through the gate of forgiveness, which leads to grace. And uh, your being here is an indication that you've made that decision already. You've made the decision to walk through the gate of forgiveness to grace, just as Christ did on the cross. He suffered terribly, and he was broken by it to the point of doubt and a feeling of absolute abandonment, which all of you felt. And uh, then there was a decision to be made. And the decision was to look upon the people who were causing that suffering, or the situation that was causing that suffering, with compassion and with forgiveness. And that's what opens the gates of heaven for all of us. So I wish that for all of you. I wish that for myself. I know that you know, no matter what I've suffered, most of you have suffered worse than that. But that's why I admire you, because you're here. You know? And you will have grace because this decision has been made. So I'm so glad to be with you and uh, to be a part of this. Thank you, Father Greg. Thank you, John. Look at this, brothers. This testimony from Jim not only touches our hearts because of his life and the difficulties he faced, but also reminds us of that passage from the Bible in 1 Corinthians 1, 27, 29, where the Apostle Paul says that God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise and chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Jim spent decades trying to please others to be accepted in an unjust and cruel world, and you, listening to me now, are going through the same situation. You may be wearing a social mask just so others won't reject you when in fact you are empty inside. Jim Carrey's life story is a call from God for you today. Abandon this character you have been playing and accept God's plan for your life. Amen. I am sure that all the shadows that have pursued you until now will be dissipated by the light of the Holy Spirit, no matter how difficult your journey is, because Jesus himself will guide your steps. So repent your sins, surrender your heart, life and future to the Lord, and he will care for you. Amen. We have reached the end of our video, and I hope you like it. If you're looking for inspiration, knowledge and spiritual connection, don't let this opportunity pass you by. Subscribe to our channel now, leave your like and comment to strengthen our community. And if you want to help us continue sharing religious stories that touch hearts, become a channel member. Together we can make a difference and strengthen our spiritual journey. We're counting on you. We've left the link in the description of this video so you can become a member today. Continue watching videos about the history of the Bible. I will leave two recommendations here on the screen. God bless you. We will get to the next video.